2022 Compton College Commission Chairman. I am Dr. Let me get us all over again. Good evening and welcome to the 2022 Compton College Commission Chairman. I am Chief. I am Dr. Keith Curry, President of Compton College. We have so, we have so much to celebrate tonight or today. These past two years have been unlike any other. Yet here we are, recognizing your achievements together and in person at California State University to move this year. Compton College graduates, you did it. I repeat, you did it. I love that sound. Welcome to commencement. This is for you. Today we celebrate the graduates from the Compton College class of 2022, the class of 2021, and the class of 2020. I truly believe that every student is a success story, and because of that, we are proud to individually recognize each student from each class by name tonight. Before we be begin, we would like to take a we would like to acknowledge the many challenges of the past two years and we have lost. I am pleased to announce that our very own Vice President of Student Services will begin our ceremony by singing the Star, the, the Star Spangled Banner. I now present Vice President Nicole Jones. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallant streaming and the rockets rang the laugh the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home I know that this is not in her job description, but what an honor to have Vice President Jones share her talents with us tonight. Thank you, Vice President Jones. <laughs> Graduates, this ceremony is a formal acknowledgement of your educational accomplishments and perseverance. Congratulations to the students who have met the requirements to graduate with an associate degree or a certificate. 
We are also pleased, we are, we are pleased to also have 46 Compton Early College students joining us tonight. They are the fourth graduating cohort of Common Unified School District students who have earned a social degree while still in high school. The Compton Early College is another successful partnership with Common Unified School District that allows high school students to get a jump start on their education. Congratulations to this special group of students. And congratulations to all of our graduates. Through your commitment and determination to learn, you have achieved an important milestone along your educational journey. So today is a culmination of your hard work. Your achievements reflect the dedication to student learning by Compton College faculty. For this, we thank the faculty members. And we thank the family and friends who are all here today to celebrate with us. Before we proceed with the program, I would like to take this time to acknowledge the Compton Community College District Board of Trustees and members of the Compton College Administration. Sonia Lopez, President. Barbara Calhoun, Vice President. Juanita Doppelmore, Clerk. Andres Ramos, member. And our student trustee, Paul Medina. We also have Compton College Vice Presidents, uh, Abe Ali, Human Resources. Sherry Berger, Academic Affairs. Nicole Jones, Student Services. Dr. Abdul Nasser, Administrative Services. And we have our Compton College Deans, Dr. Rebecca Blonshine, Student Success. Dr. Paul Flor, Student Learning. Dr. Abidan Osana Peju, Student Learning. Then we have Dr. Lauren Sosenko, Director of Institutional Effectiveness. And we have the Compton College Academic Senate President, Dr. Minador Monobanu. I would also like to take a moment to introduce our special guest on stage this evening. We have Dr. Sean Harper, who's a Provost Professor, Clifford and Betty Allen Chair, Founder and Executive Director of the USC Race and Equity Center, as well as the 2020 Compton College Commencement Ceremony Speaker. We also have Dr. Pamela Maddox, who is the principal for Compton Early College High School. And we have our very own distinguished faculty member, Shannon Williams, Compton College. And to those employees who are retiring this year or already retired, best wishes to you. Please join us in recognizing everyone And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Sonia Lopez, President of the Compton Community College District Board of Trustees. Thank you, President Curry, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Let me start by thanking our staff for their tireless work and coordination of such a beautiful ceremony. In the face of a pandemic, your dedication has made all the difference in ensuring our institution and its students are safe and supported. Thank you. What a joy it is to look out and see all these outstanding students who have accomplished so much and are now ready to graduate. There are a lot of emotions associated with this momentous occasion. Excitement, happiness, anticipation for the next step. We have heard from many of you, and I think what most of our graduates are experiencing is relief of finally finishing their courses, acknowledgement of the obstacles they overcame, and pride in meeting their goals. And yes, 
We are aware that we lost an opportunity to host our first ever in-person commencement ceremony as a fully independent Compton College in 2020 due to the pandemic, but there is no need to worry. We are making up for it in grand style. This year celebrating three classes of student success. Congratulations class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Compton graduates, I have no doubt that you will be part of a finding the solutions that our communities face, tackling challenges, and minimizing harm. I cannot wait to hear about the amazing things each Compton College student graduate achieves, the positive impact in our community, communities you will have, and the legacy you leave for the younger generations. Again, congratulations. Lo voy a decir ahora en español para las familias que entienden español. Gracias, Presidente Curry. Buenas tardes a todos y gracias por acompañarnos hoy. Permítame empezar dando las gracias a nuestro personal por su incansable trabajo y la coordinación de una ceremonia tan hermosa. Ante una pandemia, su dedicación ha marcado la diferencia a la hora de garantizar que, nuestros, que nuestra institución y sus estudiantes estén seguros y apoyados. Gracias. Qué alegría es mirar hacia afuera y ver a todos estos estudiantes sobresalientes que han logrado tanto y que ahora están listos para graduarse. Hay muchas emociones asociadas a esta ocasión de suma importancia. Hay, hemos escuchado a muchos de ustedes y creo que la lo que la mayoría de nuestros graduados están experimentando es el alivio de terminar finalmente sus cursos, el reconocimiento de los obstáculos que han super, superado y el orgullo de haber alcanzado sus metas. Y sí, somos conscientes que hemos perdido la oportunidad de celebrar nuestra primera ceremonia de graduación en persona, pero hoy celebramos tres clases, la clase de 2020, 2021, y 2022. Felicidades. <clears throat> Graduados de Compton, no tengo la duda que ustedes serán parte del, de la búsqueda de soluciones que nuestras comunidades enfrentan abordando los desafíos y minimizando el daño. No puedo esperar a escuchar las cosas asombrosas que cada graduado de Compton College logre el impacto positivo en nuestras comunidades que tendrán, el legado que han dejado a nuestras generaciones más jóvenes. De nuevo, felicidades. Thank you, Board President Lopez. Our first commencement speaker today is Miguel Ramos. Miguel is a communications major who plans to transfer to California State University, Los Angeles to complete his bachelor's degree before ultimately pursuing a master's degree and a PhD. A first generation college student, Mr. Ramos is a self-described environmental activist, humanitarian, who enjoys giving back to his community. His youth, he has struggled with health issues, alienation, and family trauma, but he has prevailed. And today he is here to tell you how much his degree means to him and what the future has to offer. Please welcome Miguel Ramos. <clears throat> you can't choose where you come from, but you can choose where you go from there. Stephen Chbosky, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This is a quote that stands as a true testament of what we're witnessing today. Dr. Curry, administrators, faculty, invited guests, and all my fellow graduates representing the classes of 2020, 2021, my class. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> and of course, the class of 2022. Yes, give it up for them. I. Miguel Ramos, I'm a proud student of Compton College. I am also a proud member of the Associated Student Government at, with my position as the Commissioner of Public Relations. And today, most importantly, 
I am your honored, in-person, non-virtual commencement speaker, inviting all to celebrate the Spring 2022 commencement graduation ceremony for all of Compton's finest students. Let me begin by first telling you a bit of my journey before com coming to Compton College, followed by saluting the challenges and the victories of all of us that we have shared together. Next, our discovery of fearless purpose and passion. And finally, expressions of gratitude with a nod to the future. Before coming to Compton College, I was just another student at my high school, class of 2018, pre-COVID. <laughs> I didn't care about my grades, and I put very minimal effort into my dreams. After graduating, I knew I didn't want to continue my life like that. So I took a gap year, and then I enrolled here at Compton College. Since then, my life has changed, and I've learned two very important things. I've learned how to be an adult, but I've also learned how to be a scholar of life. During my time here at Compton College, I've had the chance to speak to so many of you. Some of you I was even in track with, so really good to see you all here. And I've been in awe with all of your stories. Many of us have had to overcome numerous difficulties, whether it be coming from poverty, broken households, another country, and maybe even homelessness. Some of us have juggled parenthood while working on our education. Some of us had to work multiple jobs to afford our expenses, and some of us discovered new parts of ourselves that we didn't know existed. But through it all, we decided to not let that interfere with our goals. We continued to push and pursue for a higher education, and it is important to acknowledge that. Despite all the uncertainties life has thrown your way and living through a global pandemic, you accomplished a new milestone in your lives so let us salute to that. I am sure you can agree, my fellow graduates, that through Compton College, you are provided an outlet for your passions to be fulfilled. I found my passion, which is community engagement. My goal after graduating today is to receive my bachelor's degree in communications from Cal State Los Angeles. Go Eagles! <laughs> Hey, um, I aspire to become a communications director at the age of 35. My lifetime goal is to be the head of my own public relations firm with a focus on helping clients communicate their dilemmas to the general public in a flattering light. So if anyone else needs me in a few years, I'm here. <laughs> like myself, each and every one of you have big dreams that at times might seem impossible. There are many of you that aspire to become surgeons. There are others that intend on creating art that provokes awe in the eyes of hundreds and thousands. Some will educate the future, le some will educate the future leaders of our generation. And some of you may even run to win the spot as the leader of the free world. But what I do know as a member of the Compton College community is that all of you have demonstrated a grand amount of fearlessness and like Taylor Swift said, fearlessness is not the absence of fear, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. Being fearless is getting back up and fighting for what you want over and over. Each and every one of you has showcased academic excellence, bravery, and perseverance. You have risen above every problem the universe has thrown your way. You have displayed an immense amount of talent in your classes. You have decided to look at COVID-19 right in the eye and say, not me. And continue to pursue a better future for yourself. As we continue with our joyous ceremony, take a moment to thank those that helped you along your journey. Thank your family for providing guidance. Thank your parents for instilling discipline. Thank your friends for their unconditional support. Thank your bus driver for always giving you a ride. Thank your coffee barista for always giving you coffee that helped you survive the day. I, I drank too much coffee, now I hate it. <laughs> and thank your professors for giving you extensions for all of your assignments when necessary. So 
Thank you, Professor Moldavanu. <laughs> really appreciated that. For the record, I was usually on time. <laughs> and last but not least, thank yourselves, because without you, you wouldn't be here today. And it is important to acknowledge the, and appreciate the dedication you put into your work and to acknowledge all of the accomplishments you have achieved today. That being said, I would like to take the time to thank specific Compton College personnel who helped me throughout my Compton College journey and hopefully helped yours. Counselor Shay Brown, thank you so much for helping me stay on track. I really appreciated it. You have no idea. I can't really do a heart, so. <laughs> and speaking of track, I would also like to thank Coach Dave Austin. He also deserves my thanks for being an excellent coach while I was on the track and cross country team. I'm also thankful for Professor Lisa Rios for helping me present eloquent arguments that helped me in my daily life. And also, thank you once again to Professor Minadora Moldovanu for teaching me valuable communication skills that have helped me in the workplace. I cannot imagine my life without them. You have helped me so much and in a way have become my mentor as well. I would also give, like to give much appreciation for job placement specialist Nicole Smith for helping me navigate through the corporate world. Because of her, I learned the power of negotiating and how to see your own worth. And many thanks to the Associated Student Government and also to the student coordinator, Christopher Perez, for giving me a chance to learn more about our Compton College family. I really appreciated that and I loved working with you guys. And finally, I would like to thank College President Dr. Curry. I would also like to thank the Director of Adult Education and Workforce Development, Linnell Wiggins, and also Professor Jared Gordon. Because of these three individuals, I was able to take advantage of an advertising internship opportunity with Palisades Media Group located in Santa Monica. And I am proud to announce that thanks to this collaboration, my professional life has propelled me into unimaginable heights by being offered a full-time position at Neo Media World as a paid social associate. Thank you. Y para mis queridos cercanos que están aquí para acompañarme, gracias por tener fe en mí y apoyarme. Sinceramente aprecio todo lo que han hecho por mí y no saben cuánto, qué importante este evento es para mí. Los amo eternamente. My fellow graduates, this is only the beginning for all of us. Our campus has been an assemblage of people with different faces, life experiences, orientations, and motherlands. Yet we stand here, united in commemoration of our final chapter here at Compton College. Life will have many more things coming our way. Some of them might even be more difficult. However, I confidently know that all of you will be able to accomplish and overpass any obstacle that comes your way. So promise yourself to continue striving for a better tomorrow and to explore the new horizons that will unfold right in front of your eyes. We, the combined classes of 2020, 2021, and 2022 have wisely chosen Compton College, and now we can choose where we go from here. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. Now let's get this graduation rocking so we can get our degrees and proudly show them off to our loved ones. Thank you, Miguel. You are a success story. Congratulations to all the be congratulations, all the best in your future. Our keynote speaker today is Dr. Robert Ross. Dr. Ross is the President and Chief Executive Officer for the California Endowment, a private statewide health foundation established in 1996 to address the health needs of Californians. Prior to his appointment in July of 2000, Dr. Ross served as the Director of Health 
and Human Services Agency for the County of San Diego County, for, San, the, for the County of San Diego from 1993 to 2000. Dr. Ross has an extensive background in health philanthropy as a public health administrator and, and as a clinician. He has been actively involved in, in the community and professional activities at both the local and national level. He is a member of the President's Advisory Commission on Educational Excellence for African Americans, Diversity and Philanthropy Coalition. He is a diplomat of the American Academy of Pediatrics and has served as a member of several other organizations. Dr. Ross has an undergraduate master's in public administration and medical degrees from the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. I am honored to introduce Dr. Ross to you. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Ross to our commencement ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Curry. Family members, parents, graduates, and the amazing Dr. Curry, you have an extraordinary leader. A round of appreciation for Dr. Curry and his leadership here at Compton College, supported by an amazing board of trustees. Thank you to the administration, the faculty, and staff. First things first, I want all of the graduates to stand up and turn to somebody, your loved one in the audience, and give them a standing ovation right now. Give them a standing ovation. All right. Hey, how much family y'all got here? What's going on here? Because it begins with family, doesn't it? It begins with family. That's why you're here. I'm a lover of, um, of great stories, be those stories in movies or books or in human conversation. I submit to you that Compton College is a wonderful and extraordinary story that continues to unfold. Each and every one of you is part of that story this evening. And we're going to hear about a little bit, I want to say a little bit about this institution that I've learned about uh, from afar, but then I want to talk about each and every one of you that are graduating with a certificate or a degree this evening. But let's begin with the narrative of Compton. The narrative of Compton and its name has an interesting history, does it not? It started with the founding of the community back in 1888 with Compton Junior College dating back to 1920. Japanese families found their way to Compton in the 1920s, and black families arrived on the west side of Compton in the 1950s. White families began to flee Compton as a result. Between the 1970s and the most recent 2020 census, the Latino community grew to 70% of the population. But in between the 1970s and, and the time we are now, the community of Compton embodied a national narrative that combined the forces of gangster rap captured in the terrific film Straight Outta Compton and the siege of gang and gun violence that swept California in the nation in the 1980s and 1990s as a result of the crack cocaine epidemic. But a new narrative behind Compton is now emerging. Compton is now beginning to stand for something else. This renamed and reborn educational institution known as Compton College is part of this new narrative. Under the visionary leadership of your president and CEO, Dr. Keith Curry, and supported by the Board of Trustees, an amazing array of academic programs and facilities and facility improvements have sprouted from Compton College in recent years to advance and support student success. Many of each and every one of you tonight have been touched and shaped by this support. As the leader of California's largest health foundation, I have great admiration for how Compton College serves as a pipeline for the, for the uh, state's health workforce with your five public health and health services programs and your inspiring partnership with the wonderful institution known as St. John's Well Child and Family Center. The story of Compton College is one of rebirth, reimagination, possibility, and transformation. But this is about the narrative of Compton as an institution. Now, new graduates, let's shift the focus to you. 
And that focus needs to be additionally, as, as Miguel, thank you, Miguel, a round of appreciation for Miguel and his comments. Thank you, Miguel, because Miguel represents the story I want to share with you in terms of how each, of one, each and every one of you represents, represents a page in the book of the story of Compton College, a rebirth, reimagination of possibility. And if you remember only one thing from tonight, I will say this to you, take the red pill. Take the red pill. What am I talking about? Some of you know, some of you don't. The movie The Matrix, wonderful film. And in that film, it's a story about an underground group of revolutionaries that are trying to fight back against a dominant authoritarian regime, a government regime. And the leader of the revolution, played by Lawrence Fishburne in the movie, is named Morpheus. And in one part of the movie, he offers the talented but unsuspecting hero, played by Keanu Reeves, to take either a blue pill or a red pill to decide whether he wants to be part of the revolution. Taking the blue pill, explains Morpheus, assures remaining content with the political status quo of the Matrix and remaining handcuffed to a world of authoritarian control and lies. Taking the red pill, however, offers an experience of liberation and reimagination and a new narrative, but brings considerable risks for the journey. Simply, simply because taking on the authoritarian power of the matrix brings danger and harm. As an example, in real life, the three women co-founders of Black Lives Matter, while extraordinary leaders themselves, have been subjected to criticism, hate, and threats that persist to this day. So thankfully, young Neo in the movie takes the red pill. And he took the movie, they took the red pill because we had to have a movie, right, called The Matrix, right? If he didn't take the red pill, he wouldn't have a movie. And when I say to you take the red pill, it's obviously not an endorsement of taking drugs as an escape. Choosing the red pill is merely a metaphor. For you, more accurately, choices or a series of choices about what you decide to do with your time on this planet. The institution of Compton College has begun to lay the groundwork for you to make a difference in this community, a difference in this state, a difference in this nation, a difference on this planet. And this is a planet that is now imperiled by climate change and a nation that continues to be rife with injustice. Structural racism, economic injustice and poverty, the stigmatization of immigrant families, the lack of universal health care, educational inequality, homelessness, and a criminal justice system that continues to oppress people of color across this very nation. Starting today and starting tonight, I ask you to quietly resolve that you will commit your life to changing this reality and bringing a new narrative as a choice that you have made. Perhaps this sounds too much of a stretch, perhaps it sounds unrealistic, perhaps it sounds lofty. So let me share two real life stories with you, not a movie, that I experienced as an organization, our, our foundation funded two efforts where young people just, who look just like you have brought incredible and enormous change to the state of California. The first one started when President Barack Obama passed Obamacare in the United States some years ago. Many people enjoyed more health insurance coverage as a result of the passage of Obamacare by the Congress. The legislation allowed for many more Americans to enjoy the security of health insurance coverage. But there was a problem. And the problem was that because of the politics in Washington, Obamacare left many immigrants and all undocumented immigrants out of coverage. And to many young people here in the state of California, known as dreamers, undocumented young people themselves, they felt that this reality was unacceptable. They exercised their voice, they approached our foundation for financial support to lead a statewide campaign called Health for All. They mobilized and organized, they went to county boards of supervisors, they went to city councils, they went to Sacramento, they spoke to the governor, they went to the legislature, they had their voice and their passion and their experiences heard. And it took three years, but the young dreamers and their allies succeeded in convincing the California legislature and the governor to expand Medi-Cal for undocumented young people. How many of you have Medi-Cal in your families? More than that, I know it's more than that. Okay. 
Many of you have benefited and have health coverage because those young people called the, the Dreamers who were undocumented themselves took up the fight to make sure that a health insurance coverage included more immigrant and undocumented young people. The Dreamers took the red pill and battled against the status quo of injustice. In the second story, about a dozen years ago, I was invited to visit a program in South Central Los Angeles called the Youth Justice Coalition and Chuco's Justice Center. I was invited to visit their program because they wanted to educate me about their work to transform the juvenile justice system. At the time, our foundation provided funding to improve mental health services in juvenile halls and in juvenile camps. But these young people at Chuco's Justice Center had a different vision. Their vision was that young people should not be in lockup, in jail, in prison in the first place. That was their vision. And we began to support their voice, their advocacy, their mobilizing, their organizing to begin to close youth prison facilities in the state of California. Several years later, as a result of 20, at, 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 as recently as 2017, the population of young people in locked facilities in the state of California has been cut in half. And here in the county of LA, there were 17 youth prison facilities and we are now down to seven as a result of the strength, the advocacy, the energy, the passion of these young people and their allies fighting for transformational change, fighting for justice. The young leaders at the Youth Justice Coalition, many of them, most of them, who had been in the foster care system or in the juvenile justice system or in probation camps themselves as young people, they took the red pill and led the battle for justice. A number of you here are undocumented. How many of you are undocumented? Be proud, raise that hand high. How many of you have either have ever been in the, in the foster care system or the juvenile justice system? Raise your hand. There you go. A round of appreciation for the struggles of these young people as they're here this evening. So as you sit here today, and with the loving support of your families, I invite you to consider your role in writing this new chapter of a new narrative, a new narrative coming from Compton, from the Compton name and the Compton community. And keep the three T's in mind. The first T is your tribe, your family. Each and every one of you is sitting here because someone, maybe someone in those stands up there right now, but somebody looked out for you, loved you, loved you unconditionally, supported you, worked the extra hours, worked the extra shift, so you could be sitting here tonight getting this certificate to get that degree. And you need to have that person in mind and show that person much love after this uh, ceremony this evening. The second T is about trust. The stories about the undocumented dreamers and what they did and the young people transforming the juvenile justice system, that's about trusting people who are most and closest to injustice. The great ideas don't have to come from Harvard or from Facebook or from Google. They come from young people who are experiencing injustice. They understand what transformation is about. They understand what changes need to happen. We need to trust those in the community dealing with injustice. And the last T is about your tenacity, which you heard from Miguel. Each and every one of you has your own story about how you got here. And I'm sure tenacity and passion and grit and determination, and especially through the years of COVID, a lot of tears and hard nights. But you are here and you have done it. And you will need to continue to rely on that tenacity and that unshakable belief that you have in the years ahead. In the words of Willa Cather, you are mortal, you're just human beings, but you must be unconquerable in your faith. You must believe that no one can stop you from what you would need to do for your community and what you need to do for your families. Transformation and social justice can indeed come straight out of Compton. Congratulations, classes of 20, 21, and 22. Take the red pill.
So, so I'm going to go off script a little bit. Sorry, Heather. I'm going to give you all a couple seconds to your y'all, y'all, y'all announcement so you can go for it. Go for it. I gave you a couple seconds. You got a couple more. Because I hear all the parents, the grandparents, the nephew, the nieces, and the, the children. Everybody give me shots out. So I give you a couple more seconds. Okay, now I gotta go back to program. So thank you, Dr. Ross. Your call to action is inspiring. We should all thrive. We should all strive to end the injustice that affects so many. Thank you. Graduates, your dedication to your academic goals is inspiring as well. I hope you remember that your education is something you take with you wherever you go. You are a part of the Compton College community, and we are proud to welcome you as graduates. Your success is our success. Once again, I would like to say thank you to all of our wonderful speakers who share their thoughts and experiences with us. Graduates, I hope you remember the encouragement and accolades you have been given today. Congratulations and best wishes. And now, I think y'all know where we're going with this, right? Look, look, this is my first time doing a whole program, so you gotta go with me. And now, for the moment you have all been waiting for. Will all the Compton College graduates for degrees and certificates please stand? I would like to invite the president of the Compton College Academic Senate, Dr. Minadora Madavanu, to the podium. Good evening. Members of the Board of Trustees, President Curry, the students before you have met their, recommenda- have met their requirement and are being recommended by the faculty to receive an associate's degree or certificate. It is with great excitement and pride that I make the following announcement. I've been waiting since 2020 to say this in front of a live audience. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of California, and the Board of Trustees for Common Community College District, and upon the recommendation by the faculty, I present to you, members of the Board of Trustees, the class of 2022, 2021, and 2020. We will now confer the degrees and awards to the graduates.
Miguel Ramos. Sadia Escobar. Stephanie Alejandra Leonor Del Cid. Patricia Mendoza. Sheena Renee Tawa, with honors. Marco Antonio Valenzuela Jr., with honors. Tejane LaShawn Davis. Jasmine Huesca Hernandez with honors. Richard Edward Hashlacker. Michelle Gutierrez with honors. Esmeralda Jimenez with high honors. Hmm? Evelyn Donato with honors. Lady Lucero Chacaldana Baldiano with honors. Andrea Loretta Thompson with honors. Soraya Denise Gutierrez with honors. Brian Lopez with honors. Paola Chavaria with high honors. Alexis Mario Avina with honors. Andrea Latrice Parker with high honors. Ido Augustine Salgado with honors. Samisha Yvette Span with honors. Armando Aguayo with honors. Magali Sanchez. Castro with honors. Max Jefferson Guzman with honors. Vikiana Yvette Reyes Guzman with honors. Admira Valerie Sosedo with honors. Ezekiel F Ferguson with honors. Jacqueline Sandoval with honors. Victoria Smith with high honors. <laughs> Nuet Joy Gray with honors, with high honors. Roberto Gonzalez Martinez Jr. with high honors. Katia Melissa Lemos with high honors. Carolyn Fides Smith Cortez with honors. Maricruz Lozana with honors. <laughs> Laudi Cecilia Del Cid with high honors. Patricia Rojas with honors. Samantha Yamile Mendoza with honors. Celine Virgin with honors. Lilibeth Aramis Vasquez with high honors. Emily Prado with high honors. Hilda Manso with high honors. Latrissa Shane Martin with honors. Mario Alejandro Reese 
with high honors. Brooklyn Patricia Spencer with high honors. Kevin Inda with honors. Brianna Georgina Espinoza with honors. Jose Miguel Vigil with high honors. Astrid Jeline Mejia with high honors. Aurelie Ricard with honors. Erica Patricia Diaz with honors. Michael Antonio Farella with honors. Ashley Dianet Lopez with honors. Gabriela Yvonne Rodriguez with high honors. Elisa Garcia Vasquez with honors. Brianna Lil Lillian Pedraza with honors. Samantha Rodriguez with honors. Bruce Alexander Nunez with high honors. Andrea Ver Veronica de la Cruz with high honors. Jose Arturo Sandoval with honors. Janelli Sirai Mendez with honors. Ismael Velasquez with high honors. Viviana Isabella Juarez with honors. Aaron Nichelle Biffel with honors. Darmar Danel Garcia with high honors. Jasmine Elisa Borges with honors. Cassandra Vanessa Flores with honors. Edwin Estrada with high honors. Daisy Victoria Perez with high honors. Crystal L. Bland Rochelle with honors. You want the card? She says she wanted the card. <laughs> Ma Myra Elizabeth Soto with high honors. Dizel Kenyon Lawrence with high honors. Mahini Padma Moreno with honors. Eric Ramirez with honors. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, go. Venetia Maureen Dowdell with honors. Vanessa Janeth Salazar Flores with high honors. Rodnika P. Neely with high honors. Dejante Marin. Yualibet Lopez with high honors. Irene Aparicio Castillo. Janelle Hernandez with high honors. Jessica Torres. Priscilla Castaneda with honors. Courtney Tierra Linton. Augustine Domingo Ramirez with honors. Felicia D. Thompson. Jesus Mendoza with high honors. Norberta Arana. Alexa Rachel Gutierrez with honors. Juan Francisco Benitez. 
Melen Morales with high honors. Samantha Hernandez. Joe Joanith Met Martinez with honors. Lisbeth Velasquez. Luis Angel Herrera with honors. Ashley Guadalupe Ceja. Madison Simone Sky Jacket with honors. Guadalupe Platero. Alessia Verdia Johnson with high honors. Arlene Arevalo. Ajane Lanis Breche Horton with high honors. Leslie Yvette Ariola. Tiaja Marie Patterson with honors. Jalana Karenga Greenwood. Erin Hazel Vallejo with high honors. Brianna Ashley Taylor. Catherine Amber Vallejo with high honors. Shernedra Dewan Kelly. Jessica Jasmine Hernandez Ramos with honors. Dylan Wayne Taylor. Nayeli Torres with honors. Pamela Michelle Williams. Janet Hernandez with honors. Marcus Darnell Rogers. Maria Del Carmen Magliano with high honors. Andy Nunez. Yeah! Glenda Trulio. Jordan Ryan Martinez. Evelyn Gonzalez Beher. With honors. James Dylan Castillo. Donovan L. Velasquez. With honors. Dacia Allen Palma. <laughs> Jeffrey Pardo. <laughs> Stephanie Cruz Escunga. <laughs> Uwaku Cindy Chilaka. With high honors, <laughs> Vanessa Ochoa. Ricky Mikey Perez, with high honors. Celeste Gabrielle Narvez. Jasmine Charisma Perry, with honors. Jordan Ace McCon. <laughs> Ernest Wilkerson Jr., with honors. Aaron Ashley Brewster. Kirisha Ilea Moore with high honors. Martin Vasquez Lopez.
Tiffany Adams Hamptons with honors. Fernando Perez. Victoria Lara with honors. Aldo Garcia. Alejandra Mendoza with high honors. Brittany Marie Thompson. Abel Cadena with honors. Erica Marielle Banks. Maritza Elizabeth Garcia with honors. Jessica Marie Barrientos. Aran Henry Robinson with high honors. Lonnie Michael Willis. Tomika Ramona Robinson. Carlos Solis. Robin Hazel Pitolo. Marbella Ortega. Jade Alexandra Rodriguez. Just making sure. <laughs> Diamond Cheyenne Hackett. Junior C. Veliz. Jessica Monique Roberts. <laughs> Adriana Regalado. Viene Vela. Yadira Aracele Escalante. Pauline Cheryl Frederick. Roxanne Aguilar. Nancy Joanna Perez. Chelsea Kayla Ransom. Natalie Martinez. Jada Daviana Lewis. Tanya Michelle Barfield. Lashanique J. Slaughter Campbell. <laughs> Stephanie Alexandra Clara. Majesty Goodlow. Diamantina Yessi Paredes. Okay. Natea Cunningham. Kathleen Silva. Ariana Marie McAdams. Maria Zulema Garcia Cuara. Alma Iris Mendoza. Leslie Leo. Leah Nicole Florimon. Myra Susanna Morales. Okay, gotcha. Zion Dierick Frazier. Ricardo Andres Benitez. Jeremy Khalil Washington. Willie Earl Lee Jr. Joanna Martin.
Danielle Tierra Smith. Pamela Louise Wake. Parisha Chalet Smith. Nico White. Shatoya Smith Perez. Treasure Nicole Cavanaugh. Lizeth Torres. Aura Sandoval. Rosemary Mendoza. Vanessa Esmeralda Completo. Yesenia Asuncion Baltazar. Audra Tulani Puina. Jasmine Resias. Kayla Jasmine Vaughn. Alaya Hernandez. Adila Tahara Somerville. Ann K. Ross Devine. Anna Karen Lopez. Carla Tanise Nave. Jennifer Rodriguez. Akami Shepard. Roxanne Ojeda. Amanda Marie Shepard. Jerry Marie Gregory. Felicia Akeisha Edwards. Corniche Rache Draper. Monica Suarez. Tashara Williams with honors. Manuela Zaragoza. Nikita Efferson Ross. Bianca Shanique Washington. LaJoy Elise Hughley. Dawn Trishel Luster. Maya Garcia. Jamie Janith. Alvarez. Brianna Ella Pope. Daylene Destiny Silva. Aje Miguel Perez. Desmond Ashley. Melanie Gonzalez. Shantae Alicia Thomas. Crystal Natalie Flores. Rosa A. Ralph. Jamie Castellanos. Jessica Estefania Medrano. Rachel Vanessa Hernandez. Nikolai Tamboan Mendoza. Ed 
Elisa Mariel Diaz. Samisha Leanne Young. With honors. Indira Maciel Fajardo. Christina Delores Lyles with honors. <laughs> Linda Caroline Martin. Wendell C. Lyles Jr. Sereva Moet Torres. Alejandra Abiel Lechua, with honors. Gianni Washington. Fabiola Hipolito, with honors. Melissa Natalie Hernandez. Annabelle Rodriguez with honors. Jeffrey Brand Mendez. Crystal V. Barajas. Fabian Murillo. Diana Castillo with high honors. Jiraje Sharis Walker. Marsharie Latrice Walmack. Oh, that's what we're at. We did it, baby. We did that. 2020, baby. There you go. Shivette Renee Campbell. Monica Renelle Chanel Reddick. Judy Banuelos. We're done. Yesenia Olagues. Gladys Lizarraga. Shelly Erin Williams. Maria Gutierrez. Chantal Gibbons. Walter Oporto. Essie White. And last but not the least, Nabil Kermit. Will all the graduates please stand?
On behalf of everyone at Compton College, congratulations. As a symbol of the attaining your degree, you may now change your tassels from the right to the left. As associate's degree and certificate recipients, you are now Compton College alumni. Compton College faculty, please stand and prepare for the recessional. Family and friends, thank you for attending this in-person celebration. Stop by Compton College this summer and we can help you create your success story too. Please meet your graduates in parking lot 15 near the Compton College welcome area. Congratulations to all. Thank you for joining us today.